Well, I don't know about you, but uh, for a long time, whenever I whistle, no matter what tune I start out on, it always ends up a tune from the Suzuki books. But we're doing it for our kids, right? She's not mine, but I used to have one just like that. So when the music school built this shiny new building, I thought, big deal, you know, we've already got great lessons. I mean, what's a new building going to change? But the truth is that it changed everything. I mean, for one thing, when we were all over the place, I never realized how many kids were in it or how much else was going on. But now I see there's, there's special events, there's, uh, there's classes, there's orchestras, there's, uh, my kids have friends. Um, there's a lot going on uh, when everything happens in the same place. So that's great, but now the music school is, uh, has to raise a little more money to pay off this, uh, this great building. Um, because they are trying to keep the cost of the tuitions down, the tuitions don't cover the uh, cost of the building. The school has already raised $5 million to pay for the building, but they're trying to raise $2 million more uh, over the next three years. They have a fundraising staff busy writing grants and, uh, and looking for big donors, but they're also turning to the parents of the kids they serve for about half the help, like me and you. So we had some ideas. Uh, first, we thought about just doing something outrageous until the money is raised. Uh, but then I realized we're planning to take three years to do it. Well, and then we wondered about, you know, uh, about selling square feet of the building. You know, for this much money, you get two square feet. For, for this much money, you get five square feet. But, uh, uh, well, that seemed impractical. So we just thought that if everyone can uh, pledge $1,000 over the next three years, that that will actually be enough. And it sounds like a lot but it's less than a dollar a day. Um, though, no one will complain if you've got more. So one day, at a group class, I, uh, I watched the teacher pull the group together in, into, um, well, into making music. And I thought about the love and the care and the patience that it takes to actually do that. And, and then I thought about the love and the care and the patience that it takes to do, uh, you know, to put up with it, I mean, to, to nurture it at home. And um, yeah, I joked to myself that day that, that what I was watching was the highest and best expression of Western civilization. You know, but the more that I thought about it, the less of a joke it seemed. I mean, here we are, uh, passing along this beautiful gift to our children. And, well, that's sort of what civilization is, isn't it? And look what it does to them. I, I mean, for them. So come on, uh, give us a hand and keep this school going. Western civilization uh, needs your help, and our kids too.